Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever this video may find you. Uh, I have Bentley here. I'm very upset. Um, I didn't groom him last time. I groomed him the time before, but he's getting shaved today. He is an extreme pelt all over. Um, he's even got them in his ears. I am just so very upset about this because it was preventable. And this was like literally only, he was last in about almost three months ago. He was here in March. It is now June. Um, there's no way I'm dementinous. I'm not dementinous. There's no way. I'm just going to shave him. The mom gets upset. I'm very, very sorry, but this is very painful. And the fact that he's so little and skinny, he's going to look like a rat. Um, but when you have skin like this that's matted, when you have hair like this, not skin, when you have hair like this that is matted, it is literally to the skin. It's hard to find, and if I were to brush it out, it'd be more painful than it would be to shave it. Um, you just gotta start over from scratch. And he's gonna look really skinny. He's gonna look sickly. But sometimes you just gotta start over from scratch. I mean, he definitely gonna hopefully take me no time to shave down. But if I were to brush him, he'd have marks all over his skin. He'd have brush burn for sure. Uh, Manny can also call it bruising if it's there long enough. But thankfully, he's, he doesn't seem to have any. But look, this is a mat, y'all. This is how it's, it looks like a little carpet. It looks like a carpet. I know life happens. I know it does. Trust me, I know. But when you start to see your pet start to get matted, uh, even a little bit, um, you see there was a little bruising there. It looks a little colored there. It looks a little purple. <sighs> Bring it in before it gets to this shape. It's not good for your dog's skin. It hurts. It freaking hurts. Now this is a dreadlock. There's no way I would be able to cut it. I'd have to just shave it. There's just no way. Now it's very dangerous when the tail is matted like this because you don't know where the tail ends. When it gets this matted, you kind of have to pull the hair a little bit and do little bits at a time because if you keep shaving and you just shave and shave and shave, you're eventually going to find the end and you can actually cut the tip of the tail. Um, I've seen groomers actually cut the actual tail, like a good chunk. Like, I'm not talking about, like, nick it. I'm talking about cut the tail, like, a chunk of it off, because their tail curls up. And he's already got irritation on his, on his tail. See on his tail? He got the red irritation. Now the tip of his tail is right here. This was his tail. This was his tail. Do you think this is comfortable? Do you think that would be comfortable? Because I don't think so. I'm not trying to shame the owner, but I'm also trying to educate people as well. This is unacceptable. 
It's unacceptable. Um, get your dog to the groomer before it gets too bad. Um, I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen worse conditions, but that's not comfortable, y'all. It's not comfortable. That's gonna hurt. It reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to get beehives just like that in the back of my head. Because I did not like brushing my hair when I was a kid. I hated it because I was, I'm tender headed, so it hurts. Um, for about half the time when I brush my hair, I brush it and I put it in a ponytail and I put it up so this way it doesn't get tangled and knotted because I'm still tender headed to this very day. Um, but my mama would sit me down in front of her and she'd get her brush and she'd just start pulling it and I'd be crying. I would be crying. But it hurts so bad. It doesn't feel good. It's very painful. I mean, that's probably why I was so tender headed, too, because, you know, these mats get really, really heavy. You know? I mean, it's a good thing that the owner said shorter than last time. I mean, she's definitely getting it shorter. I don't know what Miss Debbie did last time, but he definitely getting shorter. I mean, I, I don't necessarily want to shave him. I don't like shaving dogs, um, but sometimes you just you have to start over. I am not a vanity groomer. I'm more of a sanity. Now, if I can make your dog look cute and look good, um, then yeah, I'll do that. I have no problem doing that. But if your dog's mad, I'm not going to sit there and be mad at I mean, if it's a little bit mad at you know, yeah, sure, no problem. But if it's like this, hell no. Hell no. I ain't doing it. And it's not because I don't want to do it because I'm lazy. Because it's painful. It's painful and it's not fair to the pet that has to sit there and endure it. That's why I say tail to the dog. I won't want it done to me. I know what that feels like. I still traumatized. But I mean that was my own fault, you know. I'm able I'm able to brush my own hair. The dogs can't brush their hair. Neither can the cats. So, you know. So look at how he's so skinny now. Oh man, look at this, look at this ear, y'all. Look at the ear. I gotta try and get this out without cutting the ear. This literally tore so much of the hair off. Well, I got it off. But it pulled the hair. That's crazy. Well, you're definitely getting short ears now because I'm going to have to cut that one short. Everywhere, trying to put y'all on my little table. I moved some stuff around. I reorganized back. Well, I didn't really reorganize. I moved the one thing over there behind me because I'm gonna have Bonner here, 
and uh, eventually she's going to be coming back because she's going to be using my tools. So I figured it'd be easier if I just move the one thing behind me. This way it's easier for her to just come over here and grab shears and my blades and stuff. Now I did bathe him already. Now if you have a matted dog and you're not going to blow it out or try to mat it um, or shave it down, do not bathe your dog. If you are not a groomer and you're bathing your dog at home and it already has mats, don't do that. The knots are going to get tighter because you're going to sit there and rub their body all over and it's going to make the mats worse. <clears throat> So do not do that at home. If you are not going to fully blow dry your dog out and brush and comb it out, uh, you're gonna make a, a situation that's already bad worse. Get your little winky. I gotta get your little winky. going to shave them. Plus it seemed to be pretty tall up so they're not like some of the other dolls where they're like really big and kind of like in your face as soon as you stand back where they're. He's got a, he's got a nice tight set of uh, you know give him a cute face. If I can give him at least a cute face, then I'll be happy. I mean, he gonna look funky for a little bit. I mean, he doesn't look as bad as some of the dogs look when they get shaved down. Um, but, dude, your nails are really long too. Whenever you're using the 
good and always make sure that you check it, especially when you're doing it on a matted dog, because you don't want to have hot spots on them. I mean, their skin's already going to be sore and sensitive from the hair that is pulling on their skin. You don't want to cause any more irritation to their skin. It's surprising. I have not had to change this blade. Um, and I have checked it many, many times. I mean, it's not like ice cold, but it's not like piping hot. Like I can put it on my wrist. I can put it on my cheek. Put it on my knees. It's not hot. Crazy. See a little purple. It's very light purple there. watch that show The Rookie. Um, I don't know if it's canceled uh, or if it's still on air. But uh, I finally started to watch it. I ran out of shows to watch and I really like the guy that plays The Rookie because I really, really miss Castle. I used to watch Castle all the time. Um, but I really, really like it. It's a really good show. So if you have a problem with a new show to watch and you're into like that hot type of stuff, um, check out the rookie. 
It's on Hulu. I think there's five or six seasons on there. here but it seems like this piece that's back here is a lot thinner especially up here so I don't know what the sharpener did um, but I think I might also need a new blade drive here soon but I don't know if it's this I mean I don't think it is because it's capturing all the other stuff so it makes me wonder if maybe it was just sharpened too much Look at that, you can see a little bit. I'm gonna put you all here so you can see what I'm doing over here. Mm -hmm. I know, I got dirty hair down there, y'all. Well, technically it's not dirty hair, it's clean hair. It's clean hair, but it's on the floor and I'm gonna vacuum it after this. I had some dogs to where I had to get them in and out really quick. Oh, you had a really bad yeast infection. Um, I got like 10 dogs today. I had to get two senior ones out first that were blind. So, now my fourth one. I still have one in uh, boarding that I have to uh, but I'm trying to get the ones in here done. Bring it up. 
this beverage. Collagen. I know you're looking like a little cute puppy now. I know my little Bentley. My little Bentley. Side of this ear. I'm gonna have to pluck this ear. This ear is really, really bad now. I'm gonna show you all real quick before I pluck it. You see that ear? All that? No infection at all. No infection whatsoever. Um, I am going to spray this Hick. It's good for uh, abrasion, skin irritation. It also deodorizes. Um, it's really good on itchy skin, hot spots. Uh, so lacerations is You get real pissed, because I know, I know I got pissed. I'm like, dude, it's the last episode. Why'd you delete my stuff? Oh, I want to watch some of my stuff. That turned into some big fights. Let me tell you something. That would turn into some big fights at my house. 
Delete someone's TiVo. Mm. Technology sure has come a long way. But now people just watch on demand or watch it on uh, Hulu, Netflix, because they already have the stuff on there. So that's how just people watch their stuff. They don't have to necessarily record it anymore. I don't even know if they have that as an option anymore. Do they? Do they still have TiVo? I don't even know if they do anymore. Team drinking is very bad for you. But I got a fake ID though. Yeah. Now I do take tips in some margaritas or some vodka. Just saying, you can go down to your local local liquor store or the Walmart. Now, I'm not a big drinker, but on the weekends, I will indulge a little bit. <sighs> Especially on weeks like I've been having last week and this week. I'm definitely going to indulge. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a little tipsy. Yep, yep. So we are getting a um, gooey magoos or some, I don't know, some kind of chicken place. Open it up next to us uh, by the Panera. We really need an Ikea. That's what I would really love. I would really love an Ikea um, to come to Alabama. And if we're going to have another food place, I really want a Wawa. God, I want a Wawa. I want a Wawa in Prattville, Deetsville, or Millbrook. Somewhere that my husband would be willing to drive. Um, I mean, I know he would go down to Montgomery, but I really hate going down to Montgomery. And I just dropped my scissors, and that sucking sucks. That sucking sucks. Suck, 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 and sucks. These ears. Oh boy, you almost moved. I almost cut your ear. But that ear is very itchy. tipsy. I can't drink on the job. I would for sure then cut it off. Ooh -wee. I don't know how some people go to work drunk or stoned on some drugs. Whatever it may be. But I get people have issues and they have really bad addictions. But I could never do something like that and put myself or an animal, or somebody else at risk. But I guess when your addiction's that bad, you don't you don't think of that. You just think about I gotta have that fixed so you feel normal. I guess. Thankfully, I don't have an addiction, except for grooming. 
the only addiction I got, y'all. Oh my god. I know, I just keep moving y'all back and forth. I'm probably making y'all dizzy. You're probably like, stop moving the damn camera. Sorry. I just want y'all to be able to see what the freak I'm doing. I'm my only camera person. Sadness, I got the madness. sadness too because my shows that I'll be watching they go on hiatus until the fall and then I, I don't know what to freaking watch because I ain't got no damn shows to watch hence why I'm watching um, The Rookie it's how I usually find the shows that I do be watching I 
cards with big tips in kissing too. Look kisses. But that's the finished look, y'all. <clears throat> I know, your ears so itchy. I'm gonna spray down the stuff that I used on them. We're gonna grind his toenails. And then we are gonna spray some um, whiffy scents on them. I'm going to spray some cool water on it. Cool water. That's what I pulled on it. You don't know about the whiffy scents yet? I don't know where y'all been. Under a rock, maybe. Uh, but when you come out from underneath that rock, go check out whiffyscents.com. Check them out on their uh, Facebook page. They do giveaways every once in a while, especially around the holidays. They have these new um, diffusers. I did a video on them, on it. Um, these are the diffusers. This is the Blackberry. I have it just sitting over here so I can smell it all day long. Um, those are coming out in July. I love it. You can put them anywhere. Uh, it says every few days you gotta tip it over um, to, you know, get the smell out. But this is the look. He might not look the best, but I mean, he's already short, so I don't wanna make him look any more funkier. Alright y'all, but I'll see y'all in the next video. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. So this way you know when I do my videos. And uh, as always, feel free to check out my Facebook page and my Tiki Takis. Uh, it is a mix of Melissa. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.